Buenos dias. Today I'm going to tell you a story about un perro guardián, a watchdog. Este perro probably was the most ferocious dog in the world. El perro más feroz del mundo. So not only was he un perro feroz, but he was also un perro guardián. He was the most ferocious watchdog in the world. El perro guardián más feroz del mundo. Pretty scary story coming up, isn't it? Hang on, I'll go get him. All right, now you gotta be the perro, okay? You be the perro. You're going to be el perro feroz, un perro guardián. I knew you'd like that. Well, every day, every day, este perro feroz would guard la puerta del patio. And the entire puerta was practically nothing but una ventana, right? I mean, that's what these patio doors are. Basically, they're just big ventanas. Si son. And este perro would look out uh, la ventana and keep an eye on things. And he would say to himself, nothing better come near this puerta. Because one of these days, my master, es, es una señora, so we'll say es, es una dueña. And he would say, he would promise himself and he would promise anybody who came near that one day when la dueña abre, uh, opens la puerta, I will run out there and I will chase everyone away. And one of the things that made him so enojado was that, well, he noticed that every day his dueña would go out and put some pepitas and oh, platito, un platillo to feed los pajaritos. Well, he didn't know what la dueña was trying to do, but that's what she was trying to do. You know that. La dueña was feeding los, los uh, pajaritos. And so she'd put pepitas out there. These are black oiled sunflower pepitas. And she would put them out there. Hey. for los pajaritos. We know that. But el perro feroz no sabía. So every day, los pajaritos would come flying by and land in there and begin to comer las pepitas. Y el perro feroz didn't understand. And so he would charge la ventana, charge la puerta del patio. Tú eres un perro feroz, un perro guardián. Okay, but don't go messing around in there. You come right back. You're not going to mess around in there, are you? You're not going to do anything, are you, that you're not supposed to? You come back muy rápido. I'm going to be waiting right here. If there's any messing around, I'm going in there. Yes, I am. Just because you're una, una muchacha doesn't mean I won't go in there. I will go in there. Yes, I will. Now you go and you get right back here. Ya. Ya, yeah. right now, ya. Yeah.
Jessica? Jessica? All right, now let's get this back on. Tú eres un perro feroz. If you were a girl watchdog, you would be una perra feroz, a uh, guardián. Okay. By the way, you feel better? ¿Te sientes? ¿Te sientes mejor? Okay. He would charge la puerta. Y los pajaritos would come and feed. Muchos pajaritos, various kinds. Sometimes a, un pete rojo, like a robin, o un gorrión, sparrow, but not hawks. Los halcones, they don't eat these things. They only eat maybe, maybe una cerdita. As los pajaritos came by y las mariposas flying by, el perro guardián would sit a la ventana a la puerta del patio feeling tan enojada, oh, enojado. He would say to himself, if only, only la dueña would open la puerta. I would go out there and I would chase those pájaros y las mariposas away. But it never quite happened. Not that day, not even the next day or the day after that. El perro... You're supposed to charge that, you know, like run up toward it. That's it, okay. Then you begin to ladrar. He would bark. En los pájaros, en las mariposas, sometimes they wouldn't go away. Sometimes the mariposas se quedaban en las flores. And sometimes los pajaritos would just keep on eating las pepitas as if they couldn't even see el perro guardián. And so the next day, la dueña would come out and and I need you to go over there. You already went. I know you're a girl. I know. Las muchachas go more off. I know, go more often. I know that, but you just... All right, go, 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 go. Jessica? Jessica? You better not be messing around in there. Don't be wasting water and flushing and unrolling the paper. Don't think that just because you're a girl, I'm not gonna come in there. It doesn't mean, well, I guess, it, I guess I won't come in there. I guess it, I'm gonna hold you personally responsible for anything you do in there. Jessica, can you hear me? I know you can hear me. I'm watching you. I can see you. I can see everything you're doing. And I'm not sure I like it.